How have refs been preparing for the new season? I think so far the pre-season re um, preparation has gone pretty well. Um, as expected, I mean, over the summer, it's pretty hard to bring in our junior referees. Uh, it's a break from them from their studies. But the uh, pre-season started for us back in the second week of July. So I think with the season starting next week, I think they're as prepared as they can be. And in terms of youth football, can you talk us through any changes that have been made? Yes, I mean, starting off with the under-17s league, uh, they, that has now become a more competitive league now. There's a bit of prize money at the end of it, uh, which has obviously resulted in also, we are now providing uh, more senior referees and also assistant referees, which is something that they have already had in the pre um, previously. With that, by us being able to provide uh, better quality referees rather than the up-and-coming ones, uh, we've been able to change, move the fixtures from the weekend to uh, the mid during the midweek in order to provide a better service. Um, also, along with that as well, then, um, new changes, of course, uh, to the, the, the laws and, of the game. And also, the main one is for this season is going to be the introduction of the sin bin. And on that, so you're introducing temporary dismissals. What's your thinking behind its introduction? Um, I think we're going to, first of all, we're going to trial it win the under 14 league uh, and see how it goes from there. Hopefully, with um, us moving forward with it and all our referees will have to, first of all, get a good grip on uh, they get their hands on it and be able to use it properly as a tool in order to try and uh, prevent less descent during the matches. It is the temporary dismissal or simbin rather well is what is known as better um, is only designed towards uh, descent. And it's more of a case of introducing it to, to, to try and get the players, the, the, um, the technical staff as well, to be able to respect the game, respect each other, and, and, and try and make it uh, just a better and more enjoyable uh, conditions for the matches to be played in. And how long would the players be dismissed for in these cases? So normally we go off for about 10% of the match time. In this case, for the under 14s, it's going to be 10 minutes. Um, if it happens before the end of the first half and we still haven't completed the 10 minutes, then it will continue into the second half. But if it does happen towards the end of the match, um, it won't follow on into the second game and into the, the following match. Um, I, I think it's the right direction with where we want to go. And, and I think it will, it will work in our favour, and not just ours as referees, but also um, for the football community. And last question, if a player is found to be guilty of needing multiple um, temporary dismissals, is there an added punishment to that? No, uh, it, it, it's going to be the same sort of setup with uh, anything else with uh, the first, uh, you get a caution. In this case, it will be the same thing. If a player is going to be shown a caution for dissent, referee will show the yellow card, point towards the uh, temporary dismissal area, which is going to be run by the delegates in between the two technical areas. Uh, the delegate will assist the, the referee. Um, and then just once the 10 minutes is up, under the referee's guidance, back onto the pitch. If that player was to receive a second caution later on in the game, like anything else, it will just lead to ascending on.